lesson number 46, Diminished Scale Workout. You can view the sheet music to this lesson by visiting my website at tjjazzpiano.com or simply clicking the link in the description below. In this week's lesson, we'll be taking a look at an exercise that I've developed to help you become more familiar with the diminished scale. I think in time this exercise will hopefully inspire you to create and write your own interesting diminished scale melodies. So let's take a look now at how I've been practicing this pattern. So let's look at the first pattern listed on the page, which is based on the C half whole diminished scale. So to create our C half whole diminished scale, all we're going to do is simply start on our starting note, which in this case is C, and alternate half steps and whole steps until we reach an octave above our starting note. So the symmetrical nature of this scale tells us that we can get exactly the same scale by ascending or descending in minor thirds and choosing that as the root. So instead of starting with our root on C, we could start on E flat or up a minor third and get the same exact scale using that same pattern. We do the same thing on G flat and get the same scale. And finally we could do the same thing on A. So what that tells us is that you can take any of these patterns that I've written out and transpose them up or down in minor thirds and get exactly the same notes. Now I've only written these patterns out in three keys, so you're going to need to utilize this concept of transposition if you want to play this pattern through all 12 keys. So here's the first pattern based on the C half whole diminished scale at 80 beats per minute. Here's the same pattern at twice the tempo. 